guys, Marco here. Welcome back to another lesson, a blues lesson, which is different than just a lesson because the blues is the blues. It's the most awesome thing to play. That's a blues in A, so it's super simple to play, and we're mainly gonna be using the minor pentatonic. However, I'm also gonna show you how we can add additional notes so that we can play over the chords, uh, which is pretty interesting. It's not the easiest blues to play, but I'm gonna try to break it down step by step. Now, we're gonna start with the turnaround. And before you have that, if you play um, along with the backing truck, you have eight counts before we actually hit the first note. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the turnaround is super simple. We uh, start with the note A twice, and then we change the string. And we're gonna have the note G on the fret number eight, and then chromatically down to the fret number five. And then we have one more chromatic note starting from the fret number three, which we're only gonna play one time. Now I really like to um, alternate. So I have Um, so if you play with the finger picking technique, make sure that you alternate. If you use a thumb pick or a pick, you can alternate. Don't play this thing with just one finger. Now after that we have the first chord. So uh, we have these two notes, we're playing over the A7, by the way, okay? So we have on the fret number five, and then the melody, which is played with the pentatonic, minor pentatonic, uh, each note is played twice. And then we finish with this minor major note. So I'm playing the fret five, and the fret number six, and down to the fret number seven on the D string. So it's a pretty cool phrase because it starts with the minor pentatonic, but then we ended up playing the C sharp, which is the major third. And I like to play the pentatonic with finger one and three, even though it can be a little stretchy. So if it's too stretchy for you, just use finger one and four. And then I have this chromatic phrase which is pretty cool and bluesy. Now the first note is the A on the fret number seven. And then we have this chromatic phrase starting from the note C on the G string. So I have from five to eight. And then the second string on the fret number five. And then we go back. So back to the fret number eight. 7, 5, and 7 on the D string. And again, I like to stretch between the finger 1 and 3. But you can use the pinky as well. So... Nice vibrato, of course, you know, every time you have a little bit of space, add a little bit of vibrato. Now the next section, over the D7, we actually have more or less the same thing. Now D7. So it's basically the same thing. We're gonna start with the same phrase, but this time it sounds different because we have a different chord, but it's the same thing. Same phrase. Now, when we have the chromatic phrase, we're gonna end with a different note. So, so we end uh, with the major third of this chord, right? 
So the beginning of the chromatic phrase is the same. All the way up to the fret number five. And then we have the fret number six and the first string fret number five. So we're literally outlining the major third and the root note of this chord. So. Now the next chord, the E7. Shut up. Now, what we have here. Now we are literally playing over the E7 chord, so we are outlining, outlining certain notes of the E7 chord. Uh, so we have the uh, second string, the fret number nine, and also the first string on the fret number seven. And then we chromatically, chromatically move down from nine to seven. It's a beautiful phrase. And you can approach the first note with either a slide. Uh, you can also do it with three notes. Uh, so with a, with a hammer on. But I would say just do the slide, it's way easier. And then we go back to the D. which is played with the same idea, right? We have the chromatic phrase, starting from the fret five to the fret seven. Then we change string. Beautiful phrase. And then we go back to the minor pentatonic. We play the fret eight, seven, eight, and five. And we have the same turnaround. I'm gonna play one more time. So after the D7, we have the same turnaround. So from the E7, Now the second section is a little bit of a crazy thing uh, as we are playing a pretty fast pentatonic phrase. Now this is a crazy pentatonic phrase, which is also quite cool. Um, no, it's literally just a pentatonic, right? Uh, so we're playing five, eight, five, seven, five, and seven, starting from the E string. Now, I like to add a pull off on the second string. So I have and then I plug all the other notes. Remember always to alternate. So if you start with the index, you got index, middle, pull off, index, middle, index. Which is kind of challenging because then when you start again, you basically end up with a different finger. So if I start with the index, the second time I start the phrase, I'm gonna plug with the middle. So, then I had the index again, and the middle. Now we're going to play this phrase five times, uh, and you have a break between the two phrases. So you have it. one, two, three, then again, one, two, three. So it's basically three plus two. And you have a break between the two thing, between the two sections, so it's pretty cool. Break. And 
then we have you have these phrase which is pretty cool it's just a pentatonic scale slide a chromatic slide slide uh, down and then we finish with these two notes which will outline the a D9 so I slide from four to five quite jazzy I really, really like this tone and then we keep going with the phrase now beautiful phrase which is basically just the pentatonic scale. It's still the same pentatonic. Uh, we are on the second string in front of a 10, 8, 10, 12, 8, 10. Then we go to the second string and play the 10, 8, and 10. And you let it ring out. Um, make sure that you add some vibrato here. And now we're back to the A, so we're gonna play this bluesy lick. So I have a bar chord on the fret number five with a hammer on on the fret number six. So I'm going from this minor major thing and seven and back to the same phrase. And we finish with um, the fret number seven on the D string. Now the last uh, section is pretty cool because we already know it. So from the E7 is basically the same phrase. I'm gonna finish with this major minor thing. We already learned it. Now, of course, it's not the most simple blues, guys, but, you know, sometimes you have to add more things, otherwise we're always stuck playing more or less the same things. And so in this blues, we're going to play a little bit more over the chords, which is awesome. It makes you sound and it makes you look pretty cool. So just give it a try. And then, of course, you can use the backing track to play, you know, your things. Um, and hopefully, maybe you can implement some of the things that you will learn in this video. Have fun playing this. Enjoy this lesson. I'll talk to you soon.